You know, years ago when people used to say, oh, I, my knees are hurting, I think it's going to rain, or something's hurting, it's going to rain or storm, I used to think, hm, yeah, sure, sure you can tell by that. <laughs> now I know you can. Um, rain every day. Uh, we've had a short day today. The weather really kicks my butt. Um, so we started our day off. Uh, it was nice when we left, just a little cool, but I have fully heated gear, four layers. <laughs> really, really felt like an abominable snowman. Uh, we kept going, looked at our time and thought, oh, we're gonna have to go live. So I found a little turn off and we went into it, pulled up our bikes and there was um, graffiti spray painted on the concrete barriers. Well, the graffiti said, put your phone down. Literally, we pull in, parked our bikes in front of a sign, graffiti random spray paint sign that said, put your phone down. We chuckled. We did our live, which was a great little spot to do it from. And then we kept going. So then we ended up at Tim Hortons. Thank you to the Chapmans and Lindsay. Uh, greatly appreciated. We warmed up, had a coffee, and um, got back on the road and started heading down the road. Not too long down the road, we hit hail. First, we thought it was just the big raindrops that, you know, kind of hurt when you get pinged with them. Then realized, no, it was hail and the sky was getting very, very black. So we pulled off into this random spot, um, gravel turnabout driveway thing this wooden I didn't know what the place was we pulled up and there was um a gazebo with like a fire pit in the middle of it and these two guys were sitting there having coffee and they waved us in come on get out of the rain get out of the rain so we get in there and the owner was one of them his name's Rob really really sweet man from Quebec uh he says come on girls come inside wait out the rain so we go in and he made us coffee with maple syrup uh, it's called the sugar shack so it's all maple syrup focused stuff and um, then his wife came out with a poutine for us they're from Quebec it was fantastic poutine and it was fantastic coffee and it was nice to uh, get warmed up again we waited the rain out there uh, sat and chatted with them for a while they made us feel like family they welcomed us and everybody, you can tell every customer, whether they have ever met them before or not, were extremely welcome into their establishment. Very kind, showed us roots, gave us information. Um, really sweet. Then uh, we kept on trucking. We didn't go too far because by this time our pain levels are a little high. I, we just had enough of the rain. Um, so we found a campsite and the campsite that we're at uh, I was playing some guitar and the owner comes over and I didn't know who he was and he says oh my wife's from uh, Ontario from Lindsay so I chuckled and said that's where I'm from and then he goes well it's more like a place called Janetville which is really funny because Mike is from Janetville also is a firefighter with the guy he was talking about so this really big country of ours is actually one small world. So a couple little lessons there. Small world. You never know what's true and what's not. So just believe it because the more good you do, the more good comes upon you. And bad weather does make for achy body parts. Good night, everyone.